All right, everybody. Today we're gonna do a backpack rogue AP. For you guys that don't know what a rogue AP is, pretty much it's a wireless axle at this point that's not supposed to be on the network. To make a rogue AP, they're very simple. You need just a couple of things. Um, you need a router. You need to do something to make that access point. Sometimes a laptop is used instead of the router. That's fine. Uh, you need a couple of simple pieces, but we're going to show you that today. Today, we're going to take my router. Yes, it's a Linksys router. Yes, I know there's many out there. This one is mine. This one here got a little extra to it. That's just because that's how I like it. It's got the extra antennas. It's got a fan for cooling. Underneath, you can see it's opened up right there. It's a one gig SD card. Okay, we're going to need that. If you have a laptop without wireless, you're going to need a wireless device. We're going to need this later and I'm going to show you why later on in the video. We're also going to need a battery. The battery is very important. This one here happens to be a 12 volt battery. Now we know our, run, uh, our router runs off of 12 volts. This we need to have. We also need to have this piece here. To make it, we need red, black wire. It doesn't have to be red and black, but you know, that's how I like to do it. From the Radio Shack, we need an in coaxial DC connector. It happens to be the one that fits into the router. Some heat shrink. Two spade connectors. Now another thing we have for this is a charger. This is a 12 volt charger. It charges uh, 12 volt batteries for like the little gas powered scooters you see out there, the little Yamahas and stuff like that. That's what this is from. It works perfect to charge this battery. If you guys want to know where I got this battery and the wire set up, minus that pin there, that connector. If you guys have an alarm system on your house or a secondary alarm system that you no longer use, well, conveniently, they're backups 12 volt batteries. Okay, to make that, you're going to need a couple things. Plug-in soldering iron, or butane power, and a little bit of solder. And, you're going to need a cable to hook to your computer to run to your router. This one here is a crossover. This is what you need. The one that came with the router is not crossover. Will not work. Let's get rid of that. This is what we need. And the last one. A backpack. Any backpack will view and will do as long as you can fit your router in it. Now, it's time to show you guys how to do this. Set that aside. After you've made this and hooked it to your battery, we're going to grab a router here. Now when we plug this in, it should work. There it is. Yes, mine has an external fan. It's overclocked. That doesn't matter. But now we have this. Now, Say you're over at 
Starbucks, McDonald's, Barnes and Noble, any of those places, they have Wi-Fi. Okay? Now what we gotta watch out about that is people that can make one of these. Because technically, all we gotta do is take that out. Take this cord here. It's gonna come in right where it says internet. Put your internet, your network card in there. That's where it's gonna go. Now, all we really have to do now is take this backpack. that's in there, we can take the battery. Battery goes right in there like so. Now you're thinking, yeah, right, right. Now, take this here and zip it up. Now this cable here, on this particular backpack, can be run through here. in the backpack. The reason why we have the cord out there like this is I'm going to show you why. Now we grab our laptop. Doesn't have to be anything fancy. Alright. And we take this laptop. Now, in order to do this, we got to make it so that we can close the top without it shutting down. The staying on. Okay, go into your settings, switch the settings to be able to do that. Another thing we need to do is you need to go to start, and then you need to go to your network places. Or not your network places. You need to go to like your, your, like, uh, your wireless. So, once you go there, once you get into that, you're going to need to take your LAN card and your wireless. You're going to have to bridge them. That way you can get a wireless signal. Once you can get a wireless signal, you can make it so that our crossover cord can plug into here. Like so. Once that's happening, this computer is connecting from the wireless to that point. And you're using this computer almost like as a middleman here. Now, we connect to, say, Starbucks Network. We put in the password and everything to get on that. Now we have internet to my computer wirelessly. It's going through here and into the Rogue AP. Now the Rogue AP, we go into its startup menu, usually 192. Dot one six eight dot one dot one. All right, and we go in there and we set it. Now, say we're at McDonald's when we're doing this. We set this rogue's name to McDonald's. Once we do that, we can go in there with uh, AP soft software like that, and you make a a splash page. That way, it looks exactly like McDonald's. And that way, whenever you click on it, because this one's going to be sitting right in the lobby with you, it's going to be a harder, uh, a better signal. So more people are going to pick the better signal, or their computer's automatically going to connect to it. Now, when they go and they're clicking on here, now with Wireshark and stuff like that, we can sit there and we can monitor everything that they do, passwords, credit cards, that is where it's dangerous.